Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, January 10th, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. And we've got yet another winter storm on the way here. So as of Tuesday noon, what we see is the third atmospheric river event that we've had in recent history last week, this week. Here's the high down here as it's been inconsequential. The low is right here and in between is this stream of moisture that's coming in. Here's Hawaii. This is going to produce some pretty good snow for Utah. It's going to be a little bit lighter density than our last event, but yet the densities will still be somewhat high. So let's take a look at some of the specifics and we'll start with northern Utah. And what we're looking at here is Beaver Mountain, Powder Mountain, Snow Basin, and any of the backcountry areas in this mountain range area. Snow totals 15 to 25, snow water equivalent 1.6 to 2.5. It's going to start Tuesday evening this evening and it's going to go through tomorrow evening and then we're going to see the greatest snow intensities probably in the daylight hours early Wednesday morning at 2 to 3 inches per hour down to the valley floor and this snow densities are going to be decreasing. They're going to range somewhere around 9 to 12 percent. This could start out as rain up to 7,500 feet for a very brief period and then the, the snow levels are going to drop and then it's going to get colder as we move through. The winds on the other hand starting right around midnight Wednesday morning out of the west we could see winds up 85 miles an hour gusting and that's going to last really on through the nighttime hours into Wednesday at 6 a.m. and then they're going to start decreasing. The wind direction is going to be out of the west, maybe a little west-southwest. They're going to kind of move around, but essentially westerly flow, and then they're going to start decreasing. So quite a windy event out of the west with some snow loading as a result. Now we drop down a little bit farther south, and we'll look at the front side. In this area, what we're looking at is Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, and Solitude with snow totals of 12 to 18 inches expected with snow water equivalents of 1.3 to 1.8. Again, it's going to start Tuesday evening and go through Wednesday evening with the greatest snow intensities on Wednesday morning at 2 inches per hour. The snow level at onset is valley floors with that little bit of rain at the beginning. Maybe uh, new snow density trends are decreasing but it's going to be about 9 to 12 percent density but it's going to be right side up which is nice winds again about Wednesday about midnight we're going to see 85 mile an hour gusts out of the west and then it's going to decline as the storm moves through but still you can expect a lot of wind loading between midnight and 6 a.m. and really even through noon on Wednesday quite a windy event as we have the system move through now we'll jump to the Wasatch backside what we're looking here is Park City, the Canyons, uh, Sundance, and Deer Valley. Snow totals 8 to 14 inches. And when you look at that, you think it's, it's quite low, but the snow water equivalent is 0.9 to 1.6. If we had 6% density, we would have snow over 2 feet, but this is a higher density snow than what we typically see. It's going to be starting on Tuesday evening, ending on Wednesday evening, and the greatest snow intensity is Wednesday morning at about an inch to an inch and a half accumulations per hour with that little bit of rain in the beginning, but then valley floor and decreasing snow densities at about 9%. When you look at the winds, very similar, but a little less magnitude. They're going to be windy at the peak at Wednesday at midnight, uh, early morning, and then uh, about 65 miles an hour gusts and then Wednesday at 6 a.m. it's going you're going to see decreases but still 60 percent 60 miles an hour and then that's going to continue to decline all the way through the event it's going to come out of the west for the most part maybe a little veering west northwest west southwest but essentially those are the directions we're looking at for the back side now sliding over to the east what we're seeing on the winter range and this is uh, for Windy Peak, 12 to 24 inches, about a foot to two feet. Snow water equivalent, 1.3 to 1.9. Storm begins Tuesday evening, ends Wednesday evening. Greatest snow intensity is Wednesday morning. And the peak snowfall rates could even be higher, about two to three inches per hour during that time on Wednesday morning. We really won't see much of the rain on this. It's valley floor to start, valley floor to finish. Decreasing snow density is about 9 to 12 percent. I think it sounds better when you say two to one to two feet as opposed to 12 to 24 inches. I don't know, it just sounds that way. Winds about 85 miles an hour sometime, you know, maybe 3 a.m. early Wednesday morning out of the west, and then it's going to decline. But still, during that time frame of 
Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, some pretty good winds that to deal with with snow loading, and then it's going to slowly decline after that. So there you have it again. Our snowpack is in great shape, even with the with the rain we had. Um, it's still quite excessive, 140, 150 percent of median. So hopefully we'll we'll keep this active pattern going. My name is Brian McInerney. You can catch us on Facebook, Twitter. There's my email. And again, I say this every time, but I can't I can't say this enough. Please hit the Utah Avalanche Center page. Good information. Save your life. Get a lot of information. Have a better day. Until the next storm, then we'll go with that. Thanks for listening.